look forward, Vanessa, to hearing that particular impression. Now, this Friday at the Portobello Film Festival, we see the premiere of a documentary about Phil Russell, a West London celebrity from the 1970s, known as Wally Hope. Hope created the Stonehenge Free Festivals, but died in mysterious circumstances soon after. Let's have a quick look at the film. Yeah. Phil would appear wearing bright multicoloured shirts made by Mon, his Danish girlfriend. We weren't talking the same language anymore. His stories of organising events or whatever would come out in one long rush and go on for as long as he could stay awake. He couldn't come down and just enjoy a normal day out. We'd take loads of acid, we'd kind of humour him, but after a couple of days we'd just get pissed off with him. Spread it out through to our fingertips and pass it on from person to person, yeah? And here to tell us more about everyone's Wally is the film's director, Paolo Salazzari, and Mark Savage, who narrates the film and who you might recognise from a childhood role in Grange Hill. Now, welcome both. Um, Paolo, what made you want to tell this story? Um, he's, he's a really interesting character. He, he was, it depends, I've interviewed a lot of people about this person and some of the hippies I've talked to describe him as this sort of charismatic uh, visionary who, uh, the bringer of the new age of uh, Albion and all this sort of stuff. And then other people talk about him as, as if he's this lunatic that you'd walk across the road <laughs> to avoid. So it's that kind of duality that made him like an interesting character. He's, he's like a traditional British eccentric. He's like a crazy person who, who might be crazy good, but there's also sort of darker stuff in there as well. So he's it's, it's just a fascinating character. And it's also something that evokes that era of the 70s, the hippie counterculture of the 70s. And a real local figure for us here in Kensington, just up the road. Yeah, well, I mean, it, up to a point, I mean, he, he was actually from Windsor, but he used to operate a lot, well, over in Notting Hill, uh, Lubbock Grove was the sort of heart of the sort of counterculture at the time. Uh, you know, the reason being, it was, that was one of the cheapest parts of London to live. It, it seems almost impossible to believe now, but that's where, where it was all happening. So, uh, yes, it, it, he used to be based around Notting Hill Way. And of course, the screening on Friday is, is under the West Way at the Paul Bella Film Festival, so it all fits. Uh, absolutely. Um, Mark, you had the role of narrating this film. How did you feel you got to know this this character? Um, it was first sort of came to me, um, a friend and colleague, uh, Gavin Sanctus, um, sort of got in touch and asked, so I met Paolo and Gavin and uh, just having a chat and whatever. And I hadn't heard of Wally before, I'm sure like a lot of people, but um, Paolo was so passionate about the project, I really knew I had to do it. And just doing the research, it's been an education. I, I needed someone with the right sort of gravitas to narrate it, and, and, and that's why I got Mark Savage on board. He was the only person who could really narrate it, you know, so that's, how, that's why, why we asked him. Absolutely. Um, when you look back, I mean, the parallels between, we have a slightly different uh, protest movement that's growing up now compared to the counterculture. What do you, what the parallels do you think you can draw from then to now? Anonymous, and the anonymous movement is, is, is kind of part of, part of the continuation of the Wallys, because uh, Phil Russell was part of the Wally tribe, and the reasons why, one of the reasons why they all called themselves Wallys, apart from it being funny, was the fact that it made it hard for them, the, 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 the um, police and the, the, the authorities, to target any one particular person. And that's exactly what uh, the anonymous movement is doing now. But of course, it's nothing new. The Jacqueries were doing it back in, in France a few hundred years before. But yeah, the anonymous movement is, is a continuation of, of the Wallys, a bit more anarchistic and a bit more confrontational, but yeah, the anonymous movement has its roots in the Wallys, definitely. Tell us about the mysterious circumstance of his death. Um, yeah, well, it's, it's difficult to talk about. I don't want to ruin the film, because obviously it's, it's, you know, it's, it's part of the point of the film, and, uh, you know, we're talking about a real-life event and real-life people, so as a filmmaker, you have to treat these things soberly and, and, and not unsensationally. But yeah, he did die under mysterious circumstances. Uh, I, I, but, you, you know, it, it, I don't really want to give away too much about the film, uh, you're really going to have to see it to sort of, sort of go, look, look into it. I basically give people the facts, I give people the facts and also some of the theories that go with the facts. And that come in, the, in your narration as well, Mark, when you have to deliver that, you, you, can, you can deliver it in a sensationalist way or would you have to sort of restrain it and let the work talk for itself? I think definitely let the work talk for itself, uh, really, yeah, we sort of spoke to Paolo and whatever about it, so it's more about the work speaking for itself, definitely. And it's a great piece of work. Paolo's mean, done a great job. Yeah, I mean, it was a sudden death. I mean, the thing behind it was that in August 74, he was all over the papers with the Wallys being affected from uh, Stonehenge and all the national papers covered it, and he was quoted extensively in the papers. And then a year later, after being sectioned under the Mental Health Act, he, he died, like, suddenly. So that sort of, right away, sort of brings up a lot of questions about what actually 
uh, how he actually died. And it wasn't immediately clear how, how he died, and the, the inquest was prolonged. But there's a lot of mysterious elements that you'll have to see the film to, uh, to find out about. Um, Paula Sensari and Mark Savage, thank you both so much for coming in. And if you want to find out more about that, sounds absolutely fascinating. Everyone's Wally is on this Friday at the Portobello Pop-Up Cinema on Acklam Road at 9.30pm. The screening, of course, is part of the Portobello Film Festival. Free admission and a cheap bar as well. Free admission and a cheap bar. Extra sale to get you in there. <laughs> we're going to take a very quick break. Now, when we come back, we're back.